Hey everyone, my name's Catherine. I'm a JMA here at Charlie's and did my internship here last year. I'm just about to start my day at work and I thought I'd show you around and highlight a few reasons why you should pick Charlie's for your internship next year. It's a great place to work and learn. So the most important job of the day up first. Can I grab a regular soy flat white, please? Sure. What name is it called? Catherine. Cheers. Thanks. There are plenty of great options here to keep yourself fed and caffeinated. From Coffee Code under the car park to the PCH food court, rejuvenate on level eight, free cinnamon scrolls and bakery items in the DCR on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, and a vast array of cafes down Hampton Road. Just take your pick. Thank you, Catherine. Awesome. Cheers. Thanks very much. <laughs> Job number one done. Best get on with my day. <laughs> Morning, guys. So today is Wednesday, so the day usually starts with protected intern teaching time. It looks a bit different now that it's online due to COVID. We usually get together for breakfast and a lecture. There's just so much teaching on offer here at Charlie's. Postgraduate medical education work hard to produce an extensive education program to cater for everyone's interests. In addition to protected intern teaching, the regular education sessions are open to all JMOs on a weekly basis and include the medical lecture series, surgical lecture series and grand rounds. We are quite unique and have a number of smaller departmental teaching sessions available to anyone who's interested, including immunology QI, renal in the loop, dermatopathology and the neurosurgery lecture series. Just turn up, swipe in and absorb the information. For those who are off site, don't worry, you won't miss out. You can log in online for the majority of these sessions. There are also a number of other teaching opportunities after hours for those wanting to improve their clinical skills. These include clinical science rounds and bedside teaching run by a medical education registrars. Okay guys, the patient's condition appears to have changed. Right, so let's check for a pulse. Sure. There's no pulse. Okay, start CPR. Okay guys, we're going to do a rhythm check, so we're going to charge the defib now, so I want CPR to continue, everyone else away, alright stop CPR, yep yeah, that's VF, everyone away, top, middle, bottom, shocking, okay back on the chest, great stuff guys. So not all teaching at Charlie's here is lecture based, in the state of the art brand new facility we do lots of sim training from internship year. So Sam, do you mind telling us a little bit about sim training here at Charlie's? Yeah, well sim here is fantastic. We've got state-of-the-art um, mannequins here, which you can listen to heart sounds, lung sounds, and they're very realistic. Uh, for me it's best because you get exposure to really unwell patients that you wouldn't normally see day to day. Uh, so for me as a junior registrar, things like team leading, it really gives you that opportunity to practice that, which for me is really helpful. Um, and then do practical procedures and, as well, so it's really good. Yeah, sounds awesome. I'll let you get back to it. Okay, sure. So sim training is an excellent way to learn, uh, especially from internship year, and it's perfect here at Charlie's. Sim training is such an applicable learning experience. You get exposed from intern year with weekly interprofessional sim sessions. Group simulations are also regularly run in the critical care, ED and CAT rotations, where SIM is embedded in the teaching. 
The new Sim Centre is just being completed now, which will allow for all sorts of interesting opportunities for years to come. Practical skills workshops are also great. We get the opportunity to practice old skills and develop new ones. Sessions run each year include ultrasound guided cannulation, lumbar punctures, CPAP BiPAP training, plastering, suturing and CVC insertion just to name a few. There is also some awesome teaching for those who are a bit more adventurous. Opportunities include the Medicine in the Wilderness course, which is uniquely run here at Charlie's, the Edit Network course at Rotnest, as well as Mass Casualty and Biohazard Scenario Training. There is something on offer here for everyone. I do remember my first day as an intern. Um, there was probably a mix of anxiety and excitement uh, and nerves and I had lots of people around to help me when I didn't know how to order particular uh, imaging requests and how to use my pager um, and I think at the end of the first day I was just lucky that there was no met calls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I remember my first day. Um, I started on Gen Med and I was completely terrified but also extremely excited. Um, and on Gen Med you have a buddy intern on your team and we bonded immediately over how we felt like we had no clue what we were doing. And it was the best five weeks of Gen Med because we helped each other through. Our registrar was extremely supportive in helping us as well. Nothing bad happened on my first day but and I left feeling really excited for the next day and the rest of the year. Um, I do. It was very much thrown into the deep end. Um, it was quite busy, quite hectic, but um, I think there was a lot of support from all the staff, the doctors, um, right up the hierarchy from the junior doctors all the way to the consultants. They're all very, very supportive and nursing staff, allied health were you know, right behind us, giving us all the help that we could have ever asked for. So it was very manageable. I chose Charlie's for two main reasons. Number one was it's close to where I live um, and having the satellite hospitals like June Delight also worked really well for me. The second thing was that it had a lot of medical specialties on offer for interns. Particularly, I have an interest in haematology and I had that on offer for interns compared to the other two tertiary hospitals which didn't. Um, so I kind of just really wanted to sink my teeth into as many medical specialties as possible, which worked out well. Um, so I did med school over in Melbourne, um, but decided to come back to Perth. Um, my family's from here, so I wanted to be close to them. And also mainly because of the, the working environment and culture I've heard is much more chilled and um, nice place to work compared to some of the hospitals in Melbourne. I chose Charlie's primarily because it's close to my home, but I also chose Charlie's because it has a state-of-the-art tertiary teaching hospital that's well established and I thought that was really important for my first year as a doctor um, to be at a hospital that has a lot of core rotations where I can learn a lot of applicable skills for the rest of my career. I grew up in Perth but I did my uh, medical studies over in Queensland so I kind of chose to come back to Perth for internship and I guess Charlie's chose me which I think is amazing and I absolutely love it here at Charlie's and I'm so grateful that they offered me a spot. The best thing about working at Charlie's is the people, um, whether it be the orderlies, the nurses, um, the physios uh, and all the other allied health, everyone's really friendly and I think it's been a really positive place to work and I love coming to work. I think how supportive all the staff is, so um, registrars, fellow RMOs, um, even the nursing staff and pharmacy, if you have any question they're always willing to listen and help you out as best that they can. Um, I really just like the culture of walking onto the wards and just sort of knowing everyone that you're working with, the nursing staff, the allied health staff, so yeah, you get a lot of friendships and a lot of um, yeah, good memories out of the banter as well. <laughs> Definitely. And definitely the people, like working yeah, with nice. everyone, everyone is so good. So lovely. Yeah. And the cinnamon rolls on Tuesdays yeah. Yeah. and the DCR. Ah, the joys of the pager. 
So that's a typical morning here at Charlie's. I've got a coffee, been to teaching, and learnt a few things along the way. Oh. Oh, it's my intern mentee. Hey Joe, how's it going? Sorry, I think this might take a while. Oh really? Oh wow, that sounds rough. Oh, tell me all about it. Charlie's has an extensive wellbeing program. I am one of a group of peer mentors that forms part of the Mentoring and Peer Support Initiative. This is one of many programs in place to support junior doctors working here at Charlie's. Our RMO Society Wellbeing Team and PGME are always looking out for our junior medical staff. From free food in the DCR to mentoring, mindfulness training, personal professional debriefing through Project Powwow, mental health first aid and RMO to register our step up workshops. If you are ever in need of support, there are a multitude of people here to lend you a hand. All right then, Joe. yeah, no worries. You can call me anytime. Yep, don't worry about it. Yep, call me, text me, whatever. Okay, take care. It's all part of the job being an intern mentor, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I do, definitely. It's um, a very good culture and working environment to be in. Would recommend it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes in terms of um, helping us mm. out and trying to get the best outcome for all of us as junior doctors, particularly with COVID this year. Yeah. It's been really nice to be supported, and I think we have been. I feel really well supported at Charlie's. The consultants have all been lovely. Um, the registrars have all been lovely. I've never had uh, any issues um, where I feel that I haven't been able to tell someone more senior if I'm having issues with something. Uh, and I think that's really important for my development and learning. Uh, and I would encourage everyone to come to Charlie's. So that's what my day's looking like here at Charlie's. I wonder what everyone else's days are looking like at other locations. I might give Jess a quick call first. She's up at Joondalup at the moment. Oh, hey Jess, how's it going? What's it like up at Joondalup? Hi Catherine, I love working at Joondalup. Um, everyone's really nice, it's an awesome place to work. There's free parking and there's lots of places to eat around the hospital and we also have a pizza vending machine. Doing your ED term at June Delight is a really awesome experience. You can cycle through peds, resus, um, fast track and the main floor. And if you want to do paediatrics or GP, um, doing ED here at June Delight is a really good experience. For any of you interested in critical care, you can do an ICU term uh, here at June Delight as an intern and we're the only hospital in Perth where you can do ICU in your intern year. Um, finally, there's loads of teaching opportunities here at June to Love. We've got pretty regular simulation sessions, um, ALS courses you can also do at June to Love, grand rounds and just general teaching. Um, and because June to Love is a sort of public-private mix, you get to work pretty closely with your consultant, um, which is really nice, and lots of teaching as well there. Um, and just in general, everyone's really friendly. It's a really nice place to work. Um, so I would really recommend choosing Charlie's as your primary site um, and picking June up for some of your terms um, and you'll have a really good intern year. Oh wow, that sounds like you're having a great time. And I agree, I did my ED term up at June up as well. The PEDS experience was really good. I'll catch you back here when you're at Charlie's next. See ya. I thought I might also talk to Sarah. It's looking a bit wintry here as you can see. So I might give her a quick call. She'll be nice and warm. Hey Sarah, how's it going? Hi Catherine, I'm out here in Luma, which is a remote clinic outside of Derby. I'm based up at Derby at the moment in the beautiful warmth and sunshine, surrounded by Boab trees, which are fantastic. Um, I'm doing a wax CRP placement at the moment, which is all about rural and remote health. Uh, and highly recommend anyone to do it because it's great fun, lots of hands-on learning. Uh, I also did a term at um, Port Hedland last year, which was equally as fantastic. Um, and if you're um, interested in rural and remote health, highly recommend doing that um, based out of Charlie's. Charlie's provides lots of great opportunities for, for that sort of thing. All right, bye. 
Oh, wow, I'm jealous. That sounds really good. I really want to do a rural term now, especially up there. It's nice and warm. All right, I'll catch you back when you're in Perth again. See ya. So things at Charlie's have been pretty progressive over the last 12 months. I've got a few good ideas, so I might go and see the RMO Society to see if we can get them sorted. Hey guys! Hey, hey Rama, how's hey. it going? Yeah, good thanks, how's it going? I see your RMA Society meetings half here and half on Zoom. Yeah, we're just um, social distancing for COVID, that's all. Yeah. Nice. How's things? Yeah, good. Now I've got some great ideas about uh, staff wellbeing for juniors and I hear that RMA Society is the great place to go. Yeah, of course. Our main job is to represent junior concerns to medical workforce and medical administration. So if you've got some good ideas, um, in, you know, want to make some changes let us know we can we can we can do it excellent great actually i know just the guy in executive to do it um let me just give him a call yeah right. Stephen. Stephen. hey we've got some great ideas Stephen. do you have a second hello deepan speaking oh hi rama how are you going you been well oh yeah you got some ideas yeah that's a great idea we should do it. I'll get the best man on the job. Hold on. I'll just put you on hold. Hello, Francis. How are you going? Um, look, I've got something exciting from the RMO Society. Rama's got another great idea and I think it's a good thing. You know what to do. Hi, Deepan. Uh, yep, I'm on it. Hi, I'm Francis. I'm the medical admin registrar. Uh, so I'm a junior doctor that both work in the administrative management world as well as uh, in the emergency department. Uh, a couple of things that we've done so far. First is the after hours. So we have completely revamped the after hours team and we've now got a registrar slash consultant led team with dedicated teaching uh, every day for two hours and a um, very supported uh, group of people with the after hour CNSs as well. The other thing that we've done so far is the uh, leave process. So we've made it a lot more streamlined, equitable, as well as better distributed. So we try and make sure that all junior doctors get the leave that they've requested for. The CAT team is incredible. Um, so speaking as someone who last year as an intern was doing a lot of after hours shifts, the CAT team, which I'm currently covering, I'm on, on the CAT team at the moment, has been a godsend. Um, it's a nice team-based approach to after hours and instead of feeling like you're a lone soldier managing a ward or a floor by yourself, you've actually got a whole team to call on. Um, so it's a much better system than um, what the after hours, the old system was. Yes. yes. I did. I've never actually had any issues with getting leave. I did. I got all my leave approved, all four weeks of it. Yes. I got all the leave that I requested. Um, so I will hopefully be able to spend my birthday with my son. Wow. So it looks like you guys have been working really hard to improve junior medical officer wellbeing, rostering, staffing, everything. So um, I might leave you to your meeting and uh, we'll catch up later. How's that sound? Yeah, perfect. Thanks, Catherine. Awesome. Thank no you. worries. All right. Cheers. Thanks, guys. See ya. Welcome, everybody. Thank you, Catherine, for taking us through uh, your day so far. We look forward to seeing the end of it. Hello everybody, uh, my name is Dr. Hadley Marcus. I'm the Director of Postgraduate Medical Education here at Charlie's and one of the renal physicians. I'm gonna take you through a bit of the nitty gritty, some of the teaching and training we offer. So let's get started. So Charlie's prides itself really on being a great place to work and learn. It is a place that many people have forged the foundations of their careers. Uh, from the early days of when this hospital was first built uh, to today. We offer a lot of things for potential uh, interns. One of those things is streaming. So whether you're interested in medical, surgical, GP, critical care, 
or you're not really sure what you want to do, we've got something for you. And, and how do we do this? Let me show you. So this is our block roster. As every, every other hospital in the country, we have uh, five terms. These are the adult hospitals. We have five terms. They're the three terms that you're required to do, those core terms. And the extra terms are created and developed so that it streams you into one of those five streams. You see a lot of yellow here? Well, that yellow is really a good thing. So what does that yellow mean? Well, for the 109 interns we have for 2021, that yellow shows you the 225 rotations of guaranteed leave, the 270 weeks of guaranteed leave, and that leave is over and above the leave you apply for. That leave is uh, created by having an extra intern in certain terms so that one intern is allowed to go on holidays uh, during that term at any one time. And every single roster uh, has a guaranteed leave term. Most have two and some even have three. So what about the fine print? How do we rank you? We rank you based on how you answered the selection uh, questions, uh, those four questions on the uh, application. Most people get within their top 10. And if you don't, we're one of the few hospitals that allows you to swap terms. Uh, as long as you meet the medical board requirements uh, and it seems appropriate, we're happy for you to swap. We also offer part-time internship. We had two interns the last two years. They're finishing up this year and have had a really fantastic experience. And all the departments that have had them have really enjoyed it. So what about our training programs? So we offer basic physician training, surgical training, as well as lots of training for those of you who are not sure what you want to do. So what about our physician training? We have a fantastic uh, basic physician training program. We offer tons of teaching. This is just a list of some of it. We also offer exam preparation for both the written and clinical exams. And of course, the results speak for themselves. Last year, we had 89% pass, and you can see since PGME has taken over the program, we've really uh, gone leaps and bounds in terms of our pass rate. And that's just a credit to those educators here at Charlie's. Um, and you can see that we're very comparable to the state average of 70% and the, or sorry, the national average of 70% and the state pass rate of 60% overall with having a 75% overall. What does that mean? That means those of uh, who've had to sit at a second or third time, uh, that's the pass rate for them, which is actually quite good. So what about those who are interested in surgical training? So we offer a basic surgical training stream, um, and that really is a program that gives you access to uh, having a mentor, gives you access to priorities for uh, various rotations that you want, gives you access to a mentor training program and mentors. Um, so a lot of extra things to support you in your career development. And the undecided, and those of you in any career stream, uh, we offer a huge amount of hospital-wide teaching. This is just uh, some of it. Uh, some of the fun stuff is really the practical skills workshops. There's maybe five minutes out of the hour and a half that's talking, and the rest is doing and getting your hands uh, getting getting in and doing stuff with your hands and learning learning some practical skills. So you guys are in a really fantastic position. You've all signed through your contracts and we see this really as a place for you to grow your career, not just for internship, but for your entire career, at least uh, the initial part of it. Um, we offer lots of unique training opportunities down the road. Um, RMOs, there's a number of uh, special terms for RMOs, even those not in any special training programs. There's things like Perth Children's Hospital, King Eddie's Linear Research to do a research term. Yep, we pay you to do research. And some really exciting things coming in 2021 where you get to spend a year uh, within some of those subspecialties you're really interested in. And for those of you who are doing your internship, we offer some really interesting PDL opportunities to spend time in uh, various uh, departments. Um, of course, we have a lot of the state services here. We sit on the QE2 campus. We have the Neurointerventional State Service and the State, sorry, state Stroke Service through the Department of Neurology here, uh, the Serich Neuroscience Institute, the Harry Perkins Research Institute, the Lion's Eye, PathWest, 
State Cancer Center, Linear Research, and the Charlie's Foundation that provides lots of opportunities, and especially for junior doctors, they also provide uh, grants, small grants, so you can get on to your small research projects that um, you otherwise would have to end up kind of trying to fund uh, through somebody else's research, but it provides you the opportunity to access some uh, small small amounts of money, a few thousand dollars. In any case, um, I know some other people want to speak to you. I'm going to say goodbye. I really hope we see you here next year. Um, so I'm going to put you off to uh, Janet Zagari, who's our executive director, to say a couple of words. Cheers, guys. Hi, I'm Janet. I'm the exec director for the Charlie's Osborne Park Hospitals Group. And I would like to say welcome. Um, really hope to see you next year. This is a fantastic place to work and I think you're really going to enjoy seeing what a day in the life of an intern at Charlie's uh, or Osborne Park is like. We would be delighted to have you on board and uh, if ever there's anything that you want to know, my door is open. So that brings me to the end of my day. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'm looking forward to seeing you here at Charlie's next year. See ya.